Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to prepare for JNU entrance exam 2022. Let's see what are the subjects that you have to do and what are the content that you have to cover. To begin with, you have to cover microeconomics, not very difficult microeconomics. I have listed out the main topics that you should cover. You have to cover demand, supply, equilibrium from demand supply, how taxes shift the supply curve and the demand curve, how to calculate deadweight loss. Then you have to cover elasticity. In elasticity, you should be thorough with what is your price elasticity, income elasticity, cross price elasticity. You have to be very thorough with the signs of elasticity. Then you have to cover different cost curve like average variable cost, total variable cost, like fixed cost, average fixed cost, marginal cost, etc. Then you have to cover the equilibrium conditions. Then you have to cover the market situation like perfect competition. What is the shutdown point? Monopoly, how to find equilibrium, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, etc. These are the main topics that you will see in any exam. If you cover these topics well, you will be able to crack JNU entrance exam microeconomics. Now let's see what should be covered under macroeconomics. Mostly you have to cover national income accounting. You should know how to calculate GDP, NDP, GNP, NNP, uh, private income, personal disposable income, etc. So there is a book for TR uh, for class 12 by TR Jan and BK Ori. You can go through that book. That book is a good book to cover these concepts. Other than that, you should be focusing very, very less on the equilibrium conditions. So not much of ISLM will come in this exam, very less of ISLM, but basic, uh, you know, equation will be used. So you should know the expenditure equation, y is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx. From here, you should be able to calculate y star. You should be able to calculate your alpha g, which is 1 upon 1 minus c, government multiplier. You should know the value of the balanced budget multiplier, which is 1. Otherwise, nothing else is required for macroeconomics. The third subject that you should be covering is Indian Eco. You can go through class 11 uh, Indian economics. Other than that, you should know some economic history. You should know economic development, some five-year plans, poverty, different ways to calculate poverty and unemployment patterns in India. Then very, very important is your international economics. In international economics, very, very important. Almost all the topics are important. You should know absolute, comparative. You should know Hegerolin model. You should know Ricardian model. So ideally, you have to cover Salvator completely. Very, very important book. Chapter 1 to Chapter 5, at least. This is the minimum that I'm saying. Plus, you should know about trade organizations like IMF, WTO, etc. Plus, you should know trends on contemporary trade. You should know about different trade restrictions and what is their role. Then, the next is statistics. In stats, you can do SC Chan or you can do your class 11th statistics. That should be enough. You should know topics like central tendency, mean, median mode, standard deviation. Very important, you should know correlation coefficient and you should know some problems related to probability. And finally, in maths, you should do Hammond very well. In particularly in maths, you should be able to do basic problems on differentiation total differentiation, partial differentiation. You should be able to do problems on integration. You should be able to understand set theory. 
well now a lot of students ask if you are allowed to use calculator in jnu exam you are allowed to use non scientific calculator so yes you can go ahead and use that if you go through these main topics out of these subjects you can easily go ahead and crack jnu entrance exam thank you